What's up everybody? I'm Al, here with the fabulous Trey Williams, dying fetus. Sorry, I was slightly, into the slightly moving into the dork it, step. It's, it's hard not to feel the trance. I don't know if you guys Oh, this can DMT hear that. in my system's got me go crazy. The There's Everybody's no DMT. Fucking zoning. Fuck that crap. Oh my god. Anyway, so, um, first question, um, what's it like being around humans? Like normal, normal mortals. Well, now that I have this short hair, yeah. they don't even recognize that really? I'm, ab I'm, I'm Abby Normal. Day 35, and they don't know I'm amongst them. They don't know. Yeah. I gotta ask the obvious. How's the album doing? Finishing off touring for Rain Spring right now. Yeah. And uh, we got one more tour lined up with uh, Heaven Shall Burn and Hypocrisy in Europe. Oh, okay. When's and, that starting? Uh, like two and a half, three weeks after this tour's over. Okay. And uh, we're gonna finish that, and then we're gonna put the axe to the grindstone and start trying to put a new album together. So, what, how much material you guys got ready for the new one? Uh, nothing that you would call a song. Okay. It, little riff here, little yeah. riff there. Yeah. Um, now, am I working on structure, just ideas so far? Just get the ideas out of the head, right. and then we'll see what works together, right. and make it into just jamming a brutal song. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, just get the, you got to get the ideas on paper, right. so to say, or on Pro Tools. Right. Does paper even exist anymore? Uh, what the fuck is paper? I don't know. Is that an app? How's the tour been going so far? It's been cool. A lot yeah. of fun. We're now back in the states. We just got out of out of uh, Canada, and uh, the rivers of Nile just joined on, and uh, I'm interested to see what those guys bring to the table. Um, we were hanging out with Waking Cadaver during the first half of the tour, and it was really cool hanging out with those guys. Remember, kids, scoop the mids. So, Look yeah, we're just, That's you know, chilling and, and see, I told you, right? right? See? You got you you to position the camera it right? it's all over it. Because it, it would have ruined it. What you all didn't see is my merch guy came in, and then he was like, oh. And quickly ducked out. Whoa. At what point in the tour are you now? Is this like halfway? This is the last third. Last third. Last okay. third. We're how, are you, how are you guys feeling? I mean, you guys I'm, get like a third, fourth, fifth wind. I mean, are you guys ready to go home? You're still feeling good? Today uh, was my first day feeling actually good. Yeah. For about the last three days. Really? I had a bit of a head cold going on. Yeah. So, but hey, you know, what, what do you do? You, you play the show. Got it. You, whether through. you're sick or not. Yeah. You know, play the show. You guys ever really have to, have you had to cancel? I mean, it, and this tour. I mean, in history, I'm sure something happens, but uh, not to my knowledge. It's got to be pretty extreme, you know, extreme circumstances. To get to get oh no! Actually, yes, something? we we did cancel um, some festivals in Europe yeah. uh, years back. We were touring with Suffocation. We're sharing a bus with them. Yeah. And <coughs> good bus. Sorry. We did a tour of Suffocation, and a couple of the guys on the tour, including John Gallagher, our guitar player, vocalist got food poisoning. Now John got oh, it the shit. worst. He ended up getting hospitalized in Germany and we had to leave him there because we're sharing a bus with Suffo yeah. and we had to go to France and play Hellfest. So we weren't able to play Hellfest. Oh, and so there was an occasion when, you know, somebody was hospitalized a lot because well, yeah. something can't go Suck on. it up, John. But you know what? The day, the, 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 the day that he really, like the sickness hit him, we actually played a show. He, he pushed through and he did the show and right. then it was just like Open after that, like, I, I, I got I, I something's wrong with me. Wow. And it was yeah. bad, it was bad. So he just pretty much checked himself in at that point? I actually really wasn't there when he got taken away, but I know yeah. he got he left in an ambulance. Really? He, was, he was pretty sick. Damn. Yeah. You know what he ate? Uh, we all ate the same thing and in Spain, watch out for this ladies and gentlemen, they like to put uh, like a like a, a sunny side up egg on top of a steak. Which yeah, actually yeah, makes it really that. good. But I dig, I dig eggs on my burgers. That's you know? a great thing. Yeah. But you gotta watch out for that raw yolk. You never know. Yeah, it's, a, it's, yeah. it's, it's it's you know you're rolling that dice. Right. You're playing playing the fire. You're fetuses, man. Just asking for something to happen. Fetuses. Right. Like that. Embryos. So have you had any problems drum wise? On this tour specifically, any issues? Just, any, just any cool shit happen? Just the constant sucking behind yeah. the kid, you know, right. just, just not doing it right. Have you been having a tough tour? No, actually, yeah. no, I'm just really, you know, if you talk to any, any drummers out there, I don't think 
you're going to find a single one that's going to be happy with the way they play. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking tell I, me about it. I remember Air I saw, Sonic, I saw yeah. George from, from Nile play at uh, the Tuska Festival in Finland, and I was like, dude, Set. He was just like, no. yeah, fucking bullshit, fuck this. No, it wasn't cool, dude. It wasn't cool. And I was like, you fooled me. Abiotic and uh, Rivers and Nile, those guys are with you for the rest of the tour? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, we, it was, we were really bummed out to Bowerman dropped off, you know, uh, especially that with. You can talk about? I'm not in that band, so I don't know their inner politics. Yeah. You know, I they just, just heard they 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 some, there were just some issues and things happen, man. People drop off of bills all the time. Yeah. You know, we were bummed out that they couldn't come out. They could have had a really good time with us. You know, yeah. we were really excited to have them on the bill I, and we were I really know. disappointed that they weren't here. But you know what? Things happen. I know just Every, here, people were bombed. Yeah, yeah. pretty bombed. Yeah. I mean, look, this is death metal. Yeah. Nobody here can really make a living just off of it. There are a couple okay. of lucky guys out there. I mean, I have to go back to work when I go home, so I, I understand what's going on with the devourment guys. They probably got jobs, they got commitments, sure, yeah. they, they may have like put in for leave, and then all of a sudden your boss comes in and says, you, fucking you can't you go. Keep your job. You can't go, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it don't matter who you are. Things happen. Yeah, shit don't pay, man. We do it for fun. Yeah, you know, it's just, uh, for the enjoyment of the music, and uh, you know, we, we play boogle music because we like boogle music. And waking to waking to Dabber, those guys were those guys still supposed to be on at this point? You know what? There's a great example of they could only do it because they have jobs. They only so could do up to a certain point, the thing. and then they had to go home and go back to work. Were they scheduled still through, and they had to drop? No, it they was only really commit to. A certain point. They only committed to a certain point, yeah. and that's when Rivers of Mill jumped. Jump gotcha. Out. Okay. So, I mean, how do you feel about how the attendance been with those bands, both bigger bands, uh, both bands that people have been excited to see? How do you feel the, 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 the attendance has been affected a lot with those guys dropping? With a strong support band like Exum, right? You know, that just kill it every night. Right. Great dudes, fun guys, put on a fun show to watch. Right. You know. I think that with us and Exhumed, we can carry it. Not really a whole make or break. Probably a lot of people that are like, well, that's a bummer that I don't get to see, you know, the bar and away from whatever, but still would be fucking awesome. When you guys are actually on the road, what are you guys doing for entertainment? Do you dig silence? Are you trying to write new ideas? Or? We, 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 uh, you know, me and Sean will play a video game or two on the laptop. Um, I've actually abstained from that as much as I can in this tour to try to be a little bit more social and not just be like, right, Skyrim, dragons, yeah. and, in. and um, at the end of the show, I just, I just, just please, no, don't, don't turn on the PA again. Just, right. Come on, I'm, I'm tearing my gear down. We just listened to death metal and, and for know, two hours. There's, there's, there's been shows where it's like, sometimes, you know, I'm in the fucking mood and it's like, you know, they're playing Morbid Angel before the show starts, and then last band's done, and they're kicking some old school candle, and it's just like, yeah, fuck yeah, and you walk out, you get your car, and you play some more fucking death metal, but then there's times when it's also, I'll see a great fucking lineup, and then they'll play like, I don't know, Yanni after the last band, and it's like, you know what, it's kind of nice, I fucking hate Yanni, but it's not as nice to just chill out after something like that. I used to love going to a show, and then on the way home, just listen to road noise. Right. The sound of the and, engine, and, you know, the sound see, of the I wind. I feel old sometimes. The sound of the wind and all that. Fine, but I feel old sometimes because it's like, especially That's recently. my beer. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, John Gallagher just stole my beer. Actually, we don't listen to a lot of music right now. Uh, mainly because we're about to start a new album and I don't want to be too influenced by anything. Uh, I actually live with my roommate is uh, Darren Morris, and he's the new guitar player from Misery Index. So they're writing the album in my basement right now, their new album. So, so you probably I, I, want nothing to I, do with that area. I don't want, I don't go down there when they're down there. Right. I don't want to know, I don't I don't ever want to hear it. I, if they, they'll ask me, hey, uh, can you give me your opinion on this? And I'm, I'm no, just like, I, I don't want to know. No. Just uh, let me hear it when it's out yeah. and done. And you've right. finished it up. Cause I don't want to be Then I'll tell you what that. sucks and what doesn't. You when it's done, it's you fucking late. really drop the ball. No, but I can tell you this. This guy's working hard and it's going to be killer. But um, I 
listen to a lot of talk radio, Coast to Coast AM, and Howard Stern. Right. And, uh, and that's really what so I listen to. So when you're writing, you just try to tune out everything else, just, just think focus. Fetus, and just like your sound, where you want to go, and nothing else. Yeah. How you doing? Let me just come over here. Yeah. Say hi. What's going on? All right, Dying Fetus fans, if you've been out there supporting us, we really appreciate it. And uh, look forward to listening to our new album that should be coming out sometime late 2014. We're going to start working on a new one. You know what we do. We write albums. We're going to tour a lot. So we're going to tour at a city near you all over the world. Thanks a lot, guys, for supporting Brutal Music. And if you haven't picked it up yet, pick up Rain Supreme, Dying Fetus and Taco Supreme. And Trey, fully fucking appreciate it. No problem. Badass show tonight. Thanks for the talk. Thank you. Take it easy, guys. We're all metal.